Yeah, so the Blue Water 56 is is definitely personally one of my favorite design concepts we've got on file. It still remains in our concept files, but in fact, it's actually a highly developed concept and was was driven by a client um, who, had, who had deep interests in, in blue water sailing and uh, around, around the world types of uh, excursions, uh, long distances offshore, crossings between continents and, and creating a boat that can handle uh, all kinds of conditions and, and scenarios at sea. And personally, this strikes home for me because I also have a long history of, of long distance sailing. I've got thousands of miles of cruising and, and offshore sailing under my belt. And this boat is, in my mind, the perfect size for particularly a couple who maybe live aboard and and are perhaps even working aboard, you know, remotely and wanting to enjoy life on the ocean, on the water, and and doing it such in a in a very comfortable format where it's uh, essentially a fairly streamlined apartment and and with accommodations that are safe and comfortable, the boat can really deliver you to your destination, you know, swiftly, efficiently, and uh, without without fuss. Some of the features about the boat really, I think, draw the user to the cockpit, probably first and foremost. The, co the relationship between the exterior lounging areas, the sailing platform, and with the interior is, is hugely connected. You, you have a cockpit that is built very much on a on the same level, essentially eye level, as the raised salon area just forward of the cockpit. And when you open up all of the windows and that wall between, you have just a, a really crazy cool communicative area that feels like this, this vast indoor outdoor veranda. And on a mono hull sailboat, that's very much like what you can get on a catamaran, by the way. But so on, a, on the mono hull uh, sailboat, you have you know quite the experience of being able to be really connected with each other while someone may be downstairs working or perhaps preparing meals or something while someone is upstairs uh, managing, managing, driving the boat and sailing. Uh, so, so it's got a real, real easy flow and, and, and easy communication kind of set up there. The, also the, the volume of the boat and the, and the size of the boat really allows quite a, a variation of uh, you know arrangements and and layouts that that can work for very different individuals just just depending on how how it's used. Uh, in the sail plan, she's got a kind of a square top configuration and lots of good uh, control features for for quick sail adjustments as well as gear changes essentially uh, easy reefing and uh, and real manageable from the cockpit all lines lead aft uh, under deck essentially coming up to the winch islands you see just ahead of the the, seat, the steering wheels for boarding access the transom actually flips down as you see in some of these images and can be actuated essentially by push button essentially when you drive up to the boat in your dinghy and and reach up over the rail to hit the push button that transom that transom will flip open and expose a set of stairs and platform right next to the water making it really simple to get on board the difference between blue water and inshore sailing really is is kind of just that it's it's the the way we talk about crossing oceans or long distance passages between a mainland and, and say uh, the Azores or, or pick a Caribbean island destination. You are crossing essentially open water, well offshore, away from any quick access to, to land security and therefore access to services like sea tow or, or even 
Coast Guard, <laughs> frankly. So the, the word blue water really is conjuring up that notion that you are in outer space. When you're out in the middle of the ocean, it's very much like being in orbit and you are untethered or, you know, not untethered, let's say, but you are, you don't have immediate touch with civilization and you really do feel like you're alone on this planet. And that's a comforting place to be for many of us sailors. The systems and behind the scenes workings of a boat that's equipped essentially to sail offshore really focuses around uh, primarily safety and capacity to store things like water, like uh, food, extra gear, spare parts, spare sails, all of the clothing and, and offshore gear needed by the crew, those kinds of things. And so we, we want to see a boat that is large enough to handle the, that kind of variable load so that it, it's got a potential to sail across the ocean, even though it may not sail across oceans any more than say 10% of its, its lifespan. But to have that capability means that we need a boat large enough to accommodate that. Uh, at this moment, we've pursued only briefly some potential partnering and production and, uh, and potentially uh, custom one-off builds, but we've yet found a home for it. And so we are open and eager to uh, walk this to the finish line.